Alrighty, so I'm going to do an interesting video. This idea came from someone on Instagram and our question sticker, so I really appreciate um, you for giving me this idea because it's an awesome video. I'm going to go over each section of Canada's Wonderland and what that next attraction could be based off of my opinions for that area. thought that was a really awesome idea, and I've been sitting at home sick as a dog, um, freaking out if I have uh, the, the C word. Uh, over the last three days and luckily my test results just came back and I am negative so it's just a cold. I started to clue in that it was a cold when I started to get the runny nose and I've been sneezing non-stop because those aren't typically um, symptoms. So the good news is I'm negative thank god because I work in a really busy um, environment and atmosphere and I've been around a lot of people um, for work so it just I feel I'm just really happy right now about my results. So um, nonetheless, I'm going to go over each section of Canada's Wonderland and the next edition that could be coming to that area. And um, I circled the areas in red of where I think these attractions will go and what attractions will be removed to make way because we all know Canada's Wonderland's running out of space, kind of. And uh, they're going to have to remove older attractions with lower capacity and high maintenance costs to make way for new state-of-the-art attractions. Um, to be honest, I really do think Wonderland's pretty predictable moving forward, so a lot of you might have the same ideas that I have. Starting off with Flight Deck and Time Warp. I'm going to start off with the most boring area, just because this is obviously, in my opinion, um, an area that's going to get a new roller coaster, uh, probably within the next five to ten years. Flight Deck is definitely um, decreasing in ridership numbers, and it definitely is receiving more complaints about discomfort while riding, whether that be ear injuries and head injuries, and I should state very slight head injuries. Um, it is an uncomfortable attraction, and it has very poor capacity, and the ridership's decreasing, so it'll be on its way out, and... Uh, I just assume they'll remove Time Warp at the same time to make way for either an invert or a wing coaster in that section. And I do think that it would either go out towards the, um, pardon, I'm, I'm like on flu medicine, so I'm out of it right now. It would either go uh, to the white tents, uh, <laughs> forget its name because I'm so loopy, or it would go towards uh, front gate. Um so nonetheless, I do think an invert or a wing coaster would be most likely in this area. And I truthfully think that a lot of people think that. So that's nothing unique, nothing too state of the art. And I think like, you know, something like Banshee or Gatekeeper at Cedar Point would fit in really nicely at Canada's Wonderland capacity wise, um, reliability wise, and uh, just uh, being that, you know, tallest, longest, fastest steel coaster that Canada's Wonderland has stated many times that they go after in terms of records to draw in more guests to buy more fast lanes, um, which is the reason why they build new coasters. So I definitely think this area is going to receive a, a coaster in the next five to ten years, and I think a wing coaster or an invert would look best here. Comment down below as I'm going through this what you guys think could be coming into these areas. So, you know, state the area and state the attraction. And uh, yeah, I, I'm definitely curious to see what you guys think along the way. And as I'm going through this quick presentation, I say quick, it's probably going to end up being 10 minutes. I always say quick, and then I rant, 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 rant. But nonetheless, comment down below. Definitely interested to uh, see what other people are thinking. Let's go over to Planet Snoopy and Kidsville. We all know that this back portion of the park is most likely going to receive something. It is a very large plot of land for a park like Canada's Wonderland, and I definitely think Canada's Wonderland needs a larger family coaster, and I think something like um, Fire Chaser Express at Dollywood would be absolutely perfect for Canada's Wonderland in this back portion. Um, again, it's like the perfect plot of land for something like Fire Chaser Express, and for any of you who have been on Fire Chaser Express, even though it's a kiddie or family coaster, it's actually really thrilling, and the storyline is beautiful, and I think that they could fit that in with the Planet Snoopy um, theme back there, or even turn, like, build a small Camp Snoopy with a Fire Chaser Express in that back portion as well. Again, Wonderland does have a ton of kid flat rides, so I don't think think there's a lot of kitty flat rides left for Wonderland to build. So they're going to have to start building, um, you know, some kitty friendly family coasters. And I think we could either see, you know, a kitty wooden coaster or Fire Chaser Express, I think are perfect for Canada's Wonderland in this back portion of the park. 
Um, now, if I was to move on over uh, to Medfair, okay, we'll do Medfair next. Let's move on over to Medfair. I'm going to do two sections of Medieval Fair, okay? So the first section of Medieval Fair that I'm going to touch on is, um, let's do the Bat. So the Bat is a ride or a coaster um, that is definitely going to be on its way out sometime soon. It's had a lot of problems over recent years. And uh, it's definitely an attraction that has extremely low ridership and extremely high maintenance costs and just extremely low capacity. And uh, there are rides out there that still have lower capacity but can do it better and fit into this really small plot of land. And we're now seeing Cedar Fair working with SNS and building 40 free spins over at King's Dominion. And I think a 40 free spin could really fit in with the medieval theme extremely well and I think that it could fit in this plot of land facing even sideways so it covers the 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 midway so you can view it uh, nicely in that plot of land so I would really like to see something like that in that section and I think that it would do Wonderland wonders it's a, it's a clickbait attraction if you want to that's how what I like to call um, some of those Six Flags coasters clickbait attractions very smart additions and the 40 free spins if you remember took off on social media and I think one in Canada would draw a lot of attention you know especially those uh, 40 free spins by SNS like nice commercial advertising it you're going to draw on guests and they're extremely cheap uh, for what you're going to get out of those clickbait advertisements that the park would pull off um all right Let's let's exit Medfair for a second <laughs> and let's go on over to Frontier Canada. So what do I think could possibly be coming to Frontier Canada? So based off of interviews with the park and uh, what we know about Frontier Canada is it's a multi-year expansion. So what we saw with Yukon Striker and Frontier Canada was just phase one. So we do know that there's more coming. And I think a lot of us know that Whitewater Canyon will most likely receive a renovation similar to what Knott's Berry Farm got. But I also think you're going to see some sort of wooden coaster. So Mindbuster, Mighty Canadian Mindbuster, was supposed to be the star attraction of Frontier Canada way back when it was first planned. Under Taft, I think it was. Correct me in the comments section if I'm getting any of this wrong. And... Um, Basically, you know, it was supposed to be Mighty Canadian Mindbuster, there was supposed to be a railroad and, and stuff like that, and it was supposed to be the star attraction. So if we were to see what other parks at King's um, Island has built, you know, they built a nice GCI wooden coaster, Mystic Timbers, and it can operate during Winterfest, and I think Wonderland might want to go down a route like that. So in this plot of land over by Whitewater Canyon, I could totally see an out and back wooden GCI coaster being built and interacting with Whitewater Canyon. Uh, through the woods. I think that would do Wonderland wonders. Um, and if that's not the case, then they could fit a mock double launch in Timberwolf's plot of land if they were to want to remove Timberwolf Falls at any point. Um, a mock double launch does fit in that plot of land really nicely if you measure it out. Looks a lot smaller than it is, uh, the plot of land, but it definitely can fit a mock, a mock double launch. We have measured it out. But I do think a GCI wooden coaster uh, going in that plot of land and then eventually allowing them to remove Mighty Canadian Mindbuster for a Splashworks expansion would be um, in Wonderland's best interest because Splashworks cannot handle the current capacity um, and attendance that Wonderland receives on a yearly basis. That park, that water park is absolutely insane and crowded shoulder to shoulder. But nonetheless, um, yep, that's definitely my idea for Frontier Canada. I'm really curious to see what you guys think about Frontier Canada down below. I definitely think a Canadian dark ride um, flying theater style thing is going to go to action theater as well for Frontier Canada. I think that's inevitable, um, and we'll see that sometime soon, a lot sooner um, than we expect. Uh, let's go on over. What haven't I done? Did I did Planet Snoopy in the kids area. I did Frontier Canada. I did Action Zone. Um, okay, um, let's do, oh, I get back to Medfair. That's, that's the last one. So over back on in Medfair, let's go for a big addition. What do I think could be coming next coaster wise, uh, to Medfair is a definitely in Dragonfire and the go-karts plot of land. I definitely think that we could see a multitude of things in that plot of land, whether it be a spinning mock double launch coaster, similar to Time Traveler. I think that would do wonders um, at Canada's Wonderland in that section and theme to uh, Medfair could work really well. It could be, 
it's 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 difficult when it comes to the theming of Medfair to predict an attraction. Um, I want to say Bermuda Blitz, um, like Vacoma style ride, but I'm not quite sure Cedar Fair is there just yet. Um, again, this is a very big uh, Bulger and Mabillard park, so I mean, maybe we could see an invert over there or you know a flying coaster over there but that is in my opinion that's not really tangible uh, i don't see that happening uh, anytime soon i think that we're more likely to see a mock double launch if we don't see it in frontier canada in medfair in that plot of land and i mean ultimately they could go without removing Dragonflyer if they're going to build a mock double launch and just build it in Speedway's section and interact it a little bit with wild beast behind it or a little bit with Dragonfire. But yeah, definitely um, a difficult uh, prediction for Medfair, to be honest, because I do know that I, I do hope that RMC is in Canada's Wonderland's future. I don't see an RMC coming to Canada's Wonderland anytime soon. Wild Beast has been really well taken care of in the last couple years. And that's usually a sign that the park plans on keeping it around for a while. Like we're talking like they've been retracking very large sections of Wild Beast, replacing the lift hill and all that. Mindbuster has been the one that has shown least amount of love until recently. So as you know from my recent videos, Mindbuster is getting a retracking as well. We don't know from who or if it's in park. It does look like it's not from in park uh, from my own perspective, but I could be wrong about that. But um, it is receiving love now. And again, when you invest in a ride, uh, it is usually showing signs that it's not sticking around. But Mindbuster out of the two is showing the least amount of love from the park. So I, that, in my opinion, that would be um, the section of the park to see a wooden coaster removed. And we do know Wonderland has commented that they would not convert a wooden coaster to an RMC, that if they were to build an RMC, it would be ground up. That did come from Wonderland themselves at an ACE event. Um, so don't expect any conversions. If you're going to see an RMC, expect a ground up. Now, fitting a ground up at Wonderland is pff, good luck. Where? <laughs> um, but yeah, nonetheless, those are my predictions for Canada's Wonderland in the area. And if you really wanted me to make a prediction for the mountain area, if you really want to make that uh, an area, I think that the walkabout up above is coming back sometime soon based off of them completely remodeling and fencing off ride areas um, and dangerous areas on the top of the mountain. But nonetheless, that's my predictions for Canada's Wonderland. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a comment and like the video. And thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.